Okay, let's start. Let's put ourselves in the presence of our dearest Lord. I'll be the prayer leader for today, but next week, starting next week, kayo na maglilid, okay? I'll be calling someone para maglilid ng prayer. Okay, let's start. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Everyone, please. Our Father in heaven, we dedicate this day to you, our God. We surrender all our activities, our thoughts, our plans, our lives, and everything we have now. Thank you for our Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you for the Holy Spirit, for guidance, and for wisdom. We ask you, O God, for the feeling of the Holy Spirit in our hearts, so that all that we do today is in line with your purpose. Give ear for prayer, O Lord, as we pray for Mary's Greenfield Academy, our beloved school, our rooms, our church, and our country. We pray for the board of directors, our teachers, our families, and our friends. Help us, Father God, to always do what is pleasing to you. Help us to believe and trust in you only. Because if we seek your face in the morning, you will be with us all through the day. And this we pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Everyone, please respond. Give us a stay. Our day bread. bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us and do not bring us to test but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. <coughs> Among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, now pray for us sinners now and our will forget. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. At this present, the one is now found, Lord, without end. Amen. St. Francis of Assisi. Pray for us. Our Lady of Mercy. Pray for us. St. Augustine, our beloved patron. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right. Good morning. Good morning, third graders. Hey, okay, kamusta naman ng inyong ano? Tuesday. Kahapon, ano? Uh, we weren't able to... Uh, wala naman tayong klase kahapon, ano? Anong ginawa nyo kahapon? May ginawa ba kay kahapon? Wala. Meron po. Nag-aral po. Nag-aral po. Nag-aral po. Nag-aral po. po ng assignment. Hmm. I see. So ako, hindi naman ang pagiging assignment kahapon. So, kasi ngayon pa lamang i-start yung ating day one ng ating class. Yeah, no? So, last, ano, uh, last Monday, nagpakilan lang tayo, right? So, nalaman natin yung, ano, yung characters ng bawat isa, ng bawat isa no? Kung ano yung mga gusto natin. Gaya nung, ano, gaya ng nilian Gusto cycling. Si Yuri naman gusto ba- volleyball. Diba? Si Jacin, nag, uh, gusto painting. Si Calix, uh, so nag, nag-mobile games ng ano, COD. Ni Nigel naman gusto piano, right? So, yun, ano? So, ano nga ba kay Sir Iman? Ano yung favorite snacks? Pizza. Pizza, right? Pizza. Tapos, eh, si Kasi naman, donut, the chocolate flavor. Yan. Sino yung gusto na sinigang na manok? Ako, wala. Hindi sumagot yung sinigang na manok. Hi, JB. <laughs> si JB actually sumagot ng sinigang na manok, okay? Tapos, uh, may sumagot din ng fried chicken and yam burger. Yam burger galing sa Jollibee, ano? Alright, so for today, um, so, mag-change screen lang ako, ano? Change screen. Nasaan na yan? Alright. Yan. So, mali pala yung change screen ko. Hindi nyo ko nakikita. Isa pa ulit. Isa pa. Yan. Okay na. So, gano'n mo na kalit. Sorry mo na. Gano'n lang kalit yung aking camera. Okay? Para yung aking ituturo sa inyo. Yan. Which is the early computing device. Para mas malaki sa screen ninyo. So, pakipin nyo sa Sir Iman para ano ah. Para ako yung makita nyo na pinakamalaki sa yung screen. Okay? 
At the same time, yung mga ituturo ko, malaki rin yung makikita. Okay. So kayo ba third graders? Paano kayo nagbibilang dati? Nung nasa preschool pa kayo, ganun. Or nasa first grade. Paano kayo nagbibilang? Sige, pwede kayo mag-open. Sa kamay po. Sa kamay, di ba? So tama, you use your fingers in counting. So ganun, one, two, three, hanggang ten, di ba? Kaya lang, paano pag ano na, paglampasan ng ten? Paano yung nabibilangin nyo kung lampasan ng ten yung kanyang kailangan i-count? Popsicle stick. Popsicle sticks naman. Alright. So anyway, ah, uh, na nakapag-print na ba kayo ng ano ng ating module? Not yet. Okay. So okay lang naman ano, it's up to you kung gusto ng i-print or not yung ating module sa na naka-post na doon. Naka-post naman sa ano 'yon sa Google Classroom, okay? At yun nga tama no, tama yung sagot niyo no. So you you use your fingers in counting. Actually, noon pa man, even before pa no, in the early years, Man used fingers and toes in counting. Yeah, druin mo. Pati pa ah. Gamit-gamit din sa pagbibilang, ba? And because of that, fingers and toes are considered as the first counting tools. Sila raw ang pinakauna na ginamit sa pagbibilang. Yan. Okay? Again, fingers and toes are the first counting tools. Okay, so it's very obvious naman, na? It's very obvious since we, we also used fingers before in counting. Even in multiplication, uh, we also can use our fingers and we call it finger math. Naituro na ba sa inyo yung finger math? Maybe if we're going to multiply, 8 times 7, ganun? Right, yun. So, no? so yun na nga. So man used both fingers and toes in counting. But soon enough, na-realize nila, no? na-realize ang tao na very limited nga lang pala yung paggamit ng fingers and toes. So they thought of using other objects to represent numbers. Yan, nag-isip na sila ng iba pang paraan para makapagbilang. Kasi nga, if you're going to use your fingers, we only have 20, diba? Hanggang 20 lang yung fingers natin. Both ha, both sa ano, both hands and feet. So, doon na. Ito na, nagsimula na sila mag-isip ng iba pa. So, Ngayon, nagkaroon sila tinatawag na bones. Yan, yung mga buto. Kasi nagkalat lang naman ang mga buto before eh. So the oldest known object used to represent numbers are bones with not just carved into it. So kung mapapansin nyo, malinaw ba sa screen ninyo? Kung mapapansin nyo itong buto na to, may mga ukit, di ba? Yan. So as you can see, in the image shown, there are not just on the bones. Yan yung ginagamit nila sa pagbibilang. So that's around 6,000 BC. So that's 6,000 years before Christ. Kung paano man sila nagbibilang using that bone, hindi ko alam. <laughs> okay? <laughs> hindi alam ni Sir Iman kung paano, kung paano sila nagbibilang dyan. Basta yun, uh, yun ang ginagamit nila. Bones with notches. Actually, it's called yeah, Ishango. Ishango bone. Uh, so I, as far as I remember. No? So yan, yan, yan ang pinakauna. Okay? The oldest known object pinakamatanda. Pinakauna pa rin yung fingers and toes. Uh, and then next to our fingers and toes, sumunod na tong bones with notches. Tapos bukod sa, siyempre, bukod sa bones, naisip din ng tao na gumamit ng shells. Yan, gumamit din sila ng sticks. Kasi tayo nga, di ba? Sabi nyo nga, gumamit din ng popsicle sticks, di ba? So, even before, bung gumamit na sila ng sticks, at gumamit din sila ng pebbles. Yan. So early human had their system in counting using these objects. So kung paano man sila ginamit sa pagbibilang, I don't know. <laughs> Hindi ko pa nalaga alam. No? So yan. So yan, mayroon tayong fingers, mayroon toes, mayroong bones with notches, mayroong shells, sticks, pebbles. Mayroon din tinatawag na kipu. Are, are you writing it down pala? Are you writing it down on your... Uh, computer notebook. I think mas maganda ka nagdo-notes din kayo eh, no? Aside from having your module. Okay. So, isa pang gamit sa manual counting before ay yung knotted strings. May mga ano yan eh, may mga buhol-buhol yan. If you're going to look closely here, so ito yung kipu. 
May mga buhol yan. Okay? So, say nga, uh, manual counting before ay yung knotted strings na binuhol, binubuhol na strings that is known as kipo. So, series of knotted strings siya na may iba't ibang kulay. Okay? Kipo. Again, anong tawag dyan? Kipo. Okay, kipo. Okay, review tayo. Review mo tayo before we go through So, ano-ano yung mga ginamit na ng tao nung before pa sa pagbibilang? Ano yung very... Finger, toes, bone, toes. And... And... Bones. Bones. Yung sa bones, pakikompleto. Yung sa bones ay bones with... Bones with notches, okay? Bones with notches. Okay. Bones lang. Wala, wala lang yan. Wala. So, it should be bones with notches. Right? Okay. Again, bones with notches. Ayan. So, yan yung mga ginamit. And yung ngayon, lastly, is kipo. Yung kipo, string siya na bin binuhol-buhol. Ngayon, sa paglipas ng panahon, as time goes by, patuloy pa rin ang tao sa pag-iimbento ng mga makakatulong sa pagbibilang. Until naimbento ang tinatawag na abacus. Yan. So, abacus is the first machine used for counting and calculating. So, abacus is made up of wooden frame. So, ito yung wooden frame niya. Yan. Uh, color brown. Metal rods. Yung metal rods kasi ito. Yan yung, yung mahaba na pinagsusuksukan ng mga beads. Ha? Tapos yan, wooden beads. So yung mga beads na, na ginagalaw natin sa pagbibilang, gawa sa kahoy. So again, abacus, yan yung unang-unang machine. So kung yung unang-unang ginamit sa pagbibilang ay, fing ay fingers and toes, yung very first naman na, uh, na machine for counting is abacus. Okay? So, wait natin na. What, uh, what, e, what, what is the oldest object used to represent numbers? Fingers and toes. Bones. Bones with notches. Okay, bones with notches. Pag, kung, ang, ang tanong is, what is the first counting tool? Fingers and toes. But what I ask is, what is the oldest object? Object, diba? Object. So, ang hands naman and, and toes are not objects talaga. Okay. So, what, so uh, bef aside from bones with notches, ano-ano pa uli? What are the other tools used in counting? Shells. Shells? Shells. Sticks. Sticks. Pebbles. Pebbles. So, how about uh, the tool made up of knotted strings? Kipu. 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 Right, so, and lastly, ito na nga, uh, the first machine used for counting is Abacus. Right. So, yun ano, um, ang mangyayari niyan, so, ang, ang next topic natin will be yung ano, yung mga people na People around the uh, people. So, okay, okay. Konting, konting, konting na lang. Uh, we only have, ano, we only have uh, 10 minutes at least para maituloy yung ating lesson. Ano. Um, so ano na nga uli? Uh, yung una natin. Uh, ano yung pinakauna? First counting tool. Counting tool lang, not object. Ano yung very first counting tool? Finger. And toes. Right, right. and toes are the first counting tools. So how about the oldest object? Oldest object, huh? Bones. Bones Bone with notches. Yeah. Bones with notches. At yun nga, yung iba gumamit din ng, ano ulit yung ginamit nila? Yung iba pa? Shells. 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 Sticks. Apples. 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 And yung isa, yung matted strings. Ano tawag doon? Abaku. No, start with letter Q. Yung tool made up of knotted string. Yung pinagbuhol-buhol na string. Letter Q. That's letter Q. 
Nuli yun? Start letter Q. Hindi ka naririnig. Kopi po. Q U I ang Q U I is key. Key ang basa lang. Key. 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 Yan key po, right? Very good. Key po. The last thing ah, key po ang tawag jan. Yan parang mo kasi necklace ano? May pwede ilagay sa leeg para itali. And then last thing ah, ito yung okay. Or is that the first machine used? Okay, ano ano yung pinakaunang machine? Naginamit for the activation. Abacus. 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 Okay, so abacus ang tawag dyan, ano? Alright, so our next topic ay tungkol naman sa tao, no? This is all about people and their inventions, okay? And those inventions are related to the idea of coming up to the invention of computers. Yan. So, siguro, mga dalawa, dalawa muna, ipapasok natin dalawang tao rito. So, the first Inventor na ating sa salapik natin is si John Napier. Okay, again, John Napier, and he is also known as Marvelous Marchiston. Yeah, yun ang yun ang tawag sa kanya, Marvelous Marchiston. So, isa sa Scottish, yun, mathematician, physicist, and astronomer. At yun nga sa pagiging mathematician niya na nakilala siya sa pag ano sa pagdiscover ng ng log ng logarithms yan so yung kanyang naging invention before ay yung tinata yung tinatawag na Napier's bone so gaya nung una uh, bones din ano bones din yung kanyang ano bones din yung kanyang naga ginamit kasi yung una is a uh, bones with notches so kanya bones din yung kanya Napier's bones so manually operated siya na pang-calculate ano So ang nakakapag nakakapag ano yan nakakapag uh, multiply and divide. Yan. Yan ang yan ang nagagawa ng Napier's bones. So kung halimbawa sa, sa usual na abacus, yung common na abacus na ginagamit. So usually ginagamit natin niya for addition and subtraction. So ito mang Napier's bones sa to, kung kung paano man siya gamitin, so nagagamit siya para sa pag pagmo-multiply and pag-divide. Yan, calculation of products and quotients of numbers. So dito nga sa ating description, Napier's bones is a manually operated calculating device created by John Napier for the calculations of products and quotients of numbers. Yan. So again, sino ulit? Sino yung, ano? Sino yung nag-invent? Nag-invent of Napier's bones? John Napier. Yes, John Napier. Tapos ito nga ang kanya naging... Invention ay Napier's bones. Actually, sa ano yun? mga year, mga 17th century. Yen, dun sa na invento, no? Around 17th century. So next person natin, I see Blaise Pascal. Yen, yun ay cura niya, no? Balik ko na sa kaya, no? Kay John Napier. So kanarin yung cura, no? Sa book kasi ay sa sa module kasi niyo color red ang picture ni John Napier. So, uh, ako, kumuha ako ng iba pang pictures ni John Napier para mas malino nyo makita. Okay? So, that's, ito yung itsura niya, tapos ito yung itsura ng kanyang invention. The Napier's Bones. Sa, sa module kasi wala ay eh, hindi pinakita yung kanyang invention. And then, ito na nga si Blaise Pascal. Long hair, no? Long hair si Blaise Pascal. So, isa siyang French mathematician din, ano? Mathematician, physicist, inventor, philosopher, writer, and Catholic theologian. So, siya naman ang nakapag-invento ng tinatawag na Pascaline or Pascaline. So, isa siyang arithmetic machine. The, very fir the first calculator or adding machine to be produced in any quantity and actually used. So, nagamit siya ng maigi before, ano? Uh, sa sa module it was 1642 so in my research uh, yun ay na invento in between 1642 and 1644 by Blaise Pascal actually siya na in um, wooden box siya na no nagawa sa kahoy na nakakapag add and subtract by means of series of gears and wheels may mga ano eh kung mapapansin niyo may mga wheels siya no 
may mga gears and wheels kung tawagin. May mga gulong, ano? Umiikot-ikot yan. And yung each wheel na rotate yan in one revolution, it would then uh, turn, turn the neighboring wheel. On top of the wheels, mayroong series of windows to which yung total nung yung sagot mababasa. So mayroon yung mga 50 models na na-construct ano. Nung una kasi talaga yung uh, yung Pascal line ay ginawa tal- ginawa talaga niya nung kasi okay, ito pa pala. Si Blaise Pascal ay anak ng tax collector. Okay, tax collector yung kanyang father. Okay? So nung una kaya lang niya yan inimbento para matulungan yung father niya sa pagka-calculate. Eh, siyempre, kung nabawa, ikaw ay tax collector at uh, marami kang, marami kang kinokolekta, marami kang kailangan i-compute. So, eto na. Nag-invento siya ng calculator. So, para matulungan yung father niya sa pagkukompute. So, yun na. It's a mechanical calculator na ininvento ni Blaise Pascal. Right? So, Sorry, may narinig kayo yung bata yata. May narinig kayo. Alright, so... Meron po. Yun nga, no? Bigla kasing sumigaw. Yan ang tawag ang mami niya. Okay, so marami pa, no? Marami pa mga tao na ating i- i-introduce sa inyo, no? So, meron sa si God, Godfrey Leibniz. Meron pang si Jacquard Loom. Hanggang sa makakapunta tayo kay Charles Babbage. Si Charles Babbage kasi is the father of computer. Yan. Uh, but for now, since uh, almost time na rin, ano? So, hindi ko na sigo, uh, I'm not going to uh, to give you further more yung information na iba pa, no? Kasi I'm still going to prepare for it naman at the same time. Um, magbibigay ako ng short assignment uh, bukas, okay? So, please prepare na lang. Uh, pakitingnan ng ating people na naka 